What's up, Well2 family? My name is Samantha Rivera and I'm here today at South Coast Welding Academy. Are you guys ready for some TIG action? So today I'm going to be welding a 6 inch carbon steel in a 2G position. Stay tuned. Get to the back, 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 back again. Just to let you guys know, WellTube will be launching an online store on February 8th. There will be hoods with flip adapters, FR clothing, so make sure you guys check them out at welllife.com. Okay, so as you can see, I have my 6 inch carbon steel scheduled 40 tacked up in a 2G position. I made sure to clean an inch away from the bevel on both sides. My bevel is nicely cleaned. Also in the inside, I have it all cleaned up about an inch away from the bevel as well. Um, I did a 3 16 gap so that my 1 8 rod can go in nice and smooth. I also made sure to feather down my tacks. You want to make sure you can see the little blue spots so that whenever you do your tie-ins, they tie in real nice and smooth. Okay, so whenever you start, you want to make sure to always put a brand new tungsten. I'm going to make sure that it's about half an inch poking out and I'm going to be using a size 10 cup. Okay, so first things first, you want to make sure you position yourself comfortably and have the tungsten pointing up and you always want to make sure you keep your wire behind the top bevel. Okay, so I want to start right where I fed in my tack, burn it up, start feeding my wire. I want to make sure that I stay on the top but keep my wire running in back of my bevel. Nice and smooth, pushing the wire making sure to keep pushing the wire so now that I'm getting closer to the time I'm going to do the dipping method I'm going to hold it there so it can get hot, add some more wire, okay so what I did was I started off at 6 o'clock and I willed it all the way to my tactics at 9 o'clock, I made sure to feather down where I stopped so I can start back up again and I'm going to weld now to my tack that's here at 12 o'clock. So here I am again starting at 9 o'clock. Keeping my wire behind the bevel. Feeding it. You always want to make sure to stay in front of your puddle so you can see everything that you're doing. Never behind it. Always in front. So once again, now that I'm getting closer to my tack, I'm going to do the dipping method. So I can tie in. Let it get hot. Oops. Same thing. Keep the wire, the top bevel, and let gravity do its thing. Just make sure you keep pushing that wire in. 
Okay, now that I'm at three o'clock, I'm gonna grind down where I stopped, make sure it's nicely feathered, start it back up again, and complete my route all the way back to six o'clock. Okay, so since my gap did get a little tighter, I decided to go up five, so I'm going to finish up this route loading at 95 amps. So I like to grind down my root before I run my hot pass. Um, that's just my preference. Some people don't, but that's what I like to do just to be on the safe side. So now I'm going to start my hot pass. Now that I'm about to start my hot pass, I'm going to do it at 130 amps. And I made sure to switch out and get me a new tungsten. So here it goes. I'm going to keep my wire at the top of the bevel and just wiggle up and down, up and down. From the top of the bevel to the bottom of the bevel. Okay, so now that I've finished my hot pass, I'm gonna go ahead and do my fill at 140 amps. Okay guys, so right now I'm gonna start my first fill. I'm gonna go from the bottom of the bevel about three fourths to the top. I'm gonna just keep wiggling the cup up and down, up and down. Make sure you keep your wrist real loose. Don't get all tensed up because then your cup's gonna just start to slip. Just keep wiggling it up and down, up and down. Okay, now I'm gonna do my second fill. I'm gonna go from the top of the bevel to the bottom. Continue to fill it up until I'm completely flush. Make sure that you feed the wire in there real nice and even so that you can have a real Nicely flush. Also, while you're putting your fill, 
Make sure you keep your wire straight. You don't want to put it at an angle because then you can start putting metal, too much metal, and you don't want that to happen. So keep it straight so that you can do it nice and smooth. Have it all nice and even. You don't even have to push it that much. You can just let it burn. Okay guys, so now that I have waited for my pipe to cool down for a bit, it's completely flushed and I'm going to cap it at 140 amps. Okay, so now I'm gonna start my first bead on my cap and um, I'm gonna walk the cup. You wanna make sure that you do a 16th below the bevel, no more than that. Try to stay as consistent as you can. Also, you want to make sure that whenever you're doing your cap, you want to watch the puddle, not the tungsten. Pay attention to the puddle. Stay in front of your weld and keep it as consistent as possible. Okay, now that I'm on my second bead, I'm gonna turn it down 10. So I'm gonna be at 130 amps. And the reason for that is because, you know, the pipe is already getting a little hot and I wanna prevent undercut. All right, guys, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed my video. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. See you next time.